All right. Hello. I'm NSC Darkwood, a.k.a. Richard Darkwood, a.k.a. Darkwood. I'm here making a quick video on how to set up your Xbox controller, your wired controller, to play Arma 3. And uh, let's, go, let's get on with it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go up here to the Steam section, right? Your Steam home, home pad here, your app. Go up here to the big picture mode. All right, now we're in the big picture. Go up here to the settings tab. In here you'll find your controller settings, base configurations, blah, blah, blah. So you go to controller. If you have an Xbox controller, you want to select these two. And then uh, it should recognize it automatically. Uh, don't calibrate it unless it's not working right. It's what it tells you in here too. So you'll have to do a restart when you select, I believe, this one. So get all that out of the way. Once you get that done, get it to recognize the controller. You come back in here and you go to your library. And then you select the game, Arma, Manage Game, Controller Configuration. I kind of like the default setup that came with it, but there was a couple things that I uh, menu options and whatnot that I really didn't feel that I used enough. So, I mean, I didn't set them. I, I, I wanted to change it up to where I could cycle my weapons. So, basically, this is how you uh, map your controller in the game. You go to what you want to do. Set it to that. Just like that. If you want... Any of this, like I, I set the D-pad over here to F, which is cycle the weapons in a vehicle and or go, you know, on your uh, rocket launcher. Right. Once you get all the stuff set the way you want it. Right. I went into the game and was playing the game with the controller stock and knew which buttons I didn't want. I wrote them down separately. So I'm not in the game. I just got the game. You know, I've only got 700 hours in. So I, I basically wrote down the keys, the buttons that I wasn't going to use, and then I came in here and mapped them to what I needed them to be. So once you're done doing that, you export config. Right? So save the new personal binding. I just set it as Gamepad Factory and hit save. And now it's been uploaded. You don't have to go into the game to do anything to uh, get it to work at all. You do everything through Steam. I hope that helped. Hope to see you in there. Thanks for watching.